Chef Buck here, and today I'm going to have for breakfast what I more often than not have for breakfast, which isn't very exciting. But we don't just cook it up in the pot the old-fashioned way. More often than not, we have overnight oats, which is super simple, and then they're always on hand whenever you want it. And I like to jazz it up a wee little bit, of course. Now, I make some pretty plain Jane overnight oats, but one thing I like to do is to add some fresh ginger because it's a great way to get raw ginger into your diet. And as you can see, I buy big chunks of ginger because it's a great ingredient to have around the house. And I'm not shy with the amount that I put in my oatmeal. That's like the size of a very macho masculine thumb. So I'll go ahead and get the skin off of my ginger. Although you can eat the skin if you want to. But this skin is a little rough and tumble, so I'm going to get it off. Then I'm going to give my ginger a nice mincing because I want this ginger flavor and nutrition to be spread all throughout my oats. Now raw ginger can be very strong and you can see I got a whole heap of it here. I mean this is just an ungodly amount of ginger. But when you soak it with the overnight oats it really makes it quite palatable, adds a lot of flavor, and then you get all of that raw ginger nutrition. Man, that is a lot of ginger, and that's a good thing. Now, I usually make overnight oats in a container this size or this size, usually one of these two. This here is a lot. This here is a good size right here, I think. This is just a uh, three-cup container, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you really don't have to measure it. You just have to make sure you got your ratio of milk to oats. So that's pretty full right there. So then I'll throw it in another little bowl here so I can mix it up with my other ingredients. I'm going to put my ginger in here. I'm going to put just an itsy bitsy teeny tiny amount of salt. And then some cinnamon. I probably got, boom, a tablespoon. You can really do it to taste. But there is no wrong amount. You know, you put less, but look. I can put that much more, boom. It's not the end of the world. It's cinnamon. It's cinnamon. So I'll get my ingredients tossed together and mixed up. Get all of my cinnamon and ginger spread throughout my oats. And these oats have probably saved my life this year. You know, because we've had every breakfast at home. We've had every meal at home. So, you know, if I was eating eggs and bacon and biscuits every single day, I don't think I'd make it. It's really helped me to manage my weight, I think. So once I get all those ingredients mixed together, I'll put it back into my hoop de hoo container. And you can do a better job than that, you know, putting it in there if you want. We'll just pretend it all went in there the first time. Boom, boom, boom. So that's a lot. So that's like three cups of oats. But again, it doesn't really matter. You just, you know, whatever container you have, you know, fill it up with oats. And then if you want to, you can add water. You can add milk. I'm actually going to use some almond milk in mine. And you just want to pour in enough to cover up your oats completely. You want to fill it all the way to the tippity top to submerge your oats entirely. You know, whatever that amount is. And if you, you can use half, uh, half milk, half water, all water, you know, whatever liquid you want to use. And you can put whatever you want in here. But I like to make my oats plain Jane so that when I'm ready to have it for breakfast, then I can use this as a base uh, for whatever kind of breakfast I'm in the mood for. So then you just cover it up and then that's it. Now these oats are ready, all I have to do is slip it in the fridge and let time do all the work. So this will go in the refrigerator and boom, look, I've got one already ready. So I've had this in the fridge yet since yesterday and it's all ready to go. And now you're ready for a very lackluster plain Jane breakfast, except for it's gingery and cinnamon, but we can make it more exciting than that. So I like to take these plain Jane oats and use it as a base for my breakfast. A lot of times I'll add it to some fruit. I got some blueberries this morning. And that is a lot of oats right there. But I'll go ahead and make it an extra lot right here. And as you can see, I still got lots left over. So out of this three cup tub, you know, I'll get three or four breakfasts. So I got some fruit, I got some oatmeal, I got some walnuts, because you gotta have some texture. And walnuts are very good for you. And then I got some toasted almonds. Are they as good for you as walnuts? I don't think so, but they're just delicious. So I'm gonna have raw ginger. I'm gonna have all these healthy nuts that I'm gonna have a little flaxseed. And then I like to add some yogurt for creaminess. 
And you can put whatever kind of yogurt you like in here. I got some hipster almond milk yogurt today. So I'll stir that up, add that in there. Then I'll mix it all up. And this is a lot. I mean, this is a whole lot. I mean, this is ridiculously delicious. I mean, it doesn't look all that pretty. You know, what could we do to make this better? Boom, prunes, five prunes, boom, because five, five, five is the magic number. And I've done a lot of research on that. So now I just mix in my prune surprise. This is like Cracker Jacks for old people. You never know which spoonful is gonna get you a little prune prize. So it's not very exciting or glamorous, but it might keep my ticker ticking for a few more years. This is a lot. There's no way I'm not going to be satisfied after eating this. And it really is like a dessert. I should feel more guilty about this, but it's just got so many good things in it. I got my prune prize right here. And they're pitted prunes. But you still got to be careful. You still got to be extra vigilant with pitted prunes. Because they will fool you. Pitted prunes are your dentist's best friend. Because they sneak up on you with those pits. You always want to bite into your prune with extreme caution initially. This looks like a breakfast you'd get at a Home Depot. I mean, I really like it, but if you make it and you don't like it, you know, you could still go out and like repair the uh, sidewalk in front of your house with this stuff. Overnight oats. It's not glamorous, but it is delicious. I mean, especially if you dress it up like this here. You know, I love my eggs and biscuits and potatoes and bacon and all that jazz. But, you know, you got to balance it out with something like this here. Otherwise, well, we know what happens. For every can of corned beef that I've eaten, you know, I've had at least a dozen bowls of oatmeal. Because you got to balance it out. You know, because if it's not balanced, it falls over. I'm just trying not to fall over. I'll have my specific uh, breakfast bowl routine, you know, my favorite combo down below. Go over to MyFoodChannel.com. You can check out all our recipes over there. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing. So that's it.